Thanks for staying with us. So yesterday we had taken the story of the young girl that was um, beaten up by four, no, well, seven men um, and um, in Quara State. She had reported to the police. I think a family member of hers had reported to the police and then they were able to bring the police to arrest all the men that participated in beating her up. We tried to reach the PRO of um, the Quara State Police Command yesterday, SP Ajayi Okasome. Um, but I'm told that he's on the phone now to speak to us, to give us an update, because we really need to know how far the investigation is going. And the reason why this is important, because we must use this story as a deterrent for many others to participate in the same act. Um, let me see if I'll... Good morning, sir. Are you there? SP Ajayi Okasome, are you there? Okay, we're still having a bit of connection. Uh, but it's a story that we're really, really keen on. I know you're not here yesterday. No, I'd like to hear your initial thoughts on this before we then. But what, what are your thoughts on what happened? And did you watch the video, right? Yes, I yes, saw the video, yeah. and it was so disheartening because when it comes to abuse, I know that um, we have advised people to always ensure that their antennas are high. Mm. Their antennas are popping so that you can sense it and flee. And this is not a case of marriage. This is a case of dating in the university. And I also believe that when it comes to physical violence, that um, it doesn't hide. For emotional violence, you can mask it a bit more because, oh, do you, is your caller here back, now? He's back, yeah, he's okay, back. go ahead. Okay, so I'm told that SP Ajayi is back. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Good to have you on the show. So could you give us an update? Because we have there was a report that we read, which we've discussed extensively. But could you tell me your own version? What happened? How did you, how did the police find out about this event and what's been, what's going on so far? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm so sorry we were able to connect on Zoom. I tried, but um, maybe next time. Yeah. Actually, what happened was that um, on Monday morning, um, the police got an information through a friend of the victim that a lady uh, he was being uh, molested and beaten up by her boyfriend and, her, and, and, and his friend. So the police uh, raced to the, to the scene with uh, uh, about one or two army officers that were around. So getting there, the boys were eventually arrested while the victim who was in severe pain was taken to a training for, for treatment. Um, but what happened was that, according to the complainant, I mean, the, the victim, the lady, um, she, she's even with me right now, she, she complained that she claimed that she was a boyfriend, I mean, a girlfriend to the, to, the, to, the, to the boy. She said they were friends, according to her, and that um, on that Monday, the guy called her to the house, and then when he got to the house, unknown to her that the boy had arranged yeah. with um, his friend, and they hit, but they hit her by the hands and by the legs, and they started flogging her for an offense of uh, shooting. Uh, she, she was, you know, going around with boys, and that uh, it, it, according to to her, that because of that, she was being beaten the way the thing was. Uh, uh, I was shown on the video circulated, and according to her, she, the guy was the one that even fought the lady, collected her phone, forced her to open the to to open the phone. And they use her phone to record all the videos, asking her to confess to that. And she said she can never confess. They told her that if she failed to confess, they, are going to, they were going to, 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 to post those videos. And the girl said they can do anything they want that. She has not done anything wrong. And eventually, those were posted, those uh, videos. So and if I, as, at, as at now, we have all the five boys with us uh, in the station, and we are preparing them for court at the end of this uh, investigation. Oh, wow. Uh, these boys, um, are you planning to investigate them for cultism as well? And actually, we are really, we are really investigating, investigating them for so many things because uh, we want to know what they do for a living. Though according, according to the boy, he said he's a cleaner, that he, he, do, he, he does cleaning for people, house cleaning and the rest of them. And then we are still investigating them. If they are one way or the other connected with any cult uh, activity, we, we are going into that. And um, according to the boys, we claimed that he was married to the girl, that they have done um, a court wedding. Yeah. And then we asked him, were the family of the girl involved in the marriage? He claimed that it was her friend that came, 
that himself and the families were involved and they were all in the I said, okay, why would you get married to a lady you don't know any of? He said the lady claimed that she had no preference, that she's um, had no fan, and that was why she was going up and down. So yeah. we are still investigating to get the certificate, the, the wedding certificate, if they are returning, because they claimed they have one. So the right. policemen are heading back to, to his place of residence to get those certificates. So no, if, those, if that certificate was even fake or something. So there are right. a lot of things we are investigating in this matter. Okay. Right, okay. So, my, um, you know, we've been, we discussed this yesterday and we're trying to understand um, what, what will be the case that will be brought charged. up against them. Like, what would they be charged with? Um, especially because some of them did not participate in the beating, some of them were recording. What, what are the cases that will be charged against all these people involved? The matter, it was a serious case. And uh, apart from uh, uh, indecent assault, we, we, are, we are looking at the angle of indecent assault. We are looking at the angle of uh, molest uh, molestation. We are also looking at the angle of uh, of uh, 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 gender-based and sexual violence. We are right. going to act on that. And in Kuala State, here yeah, we have a, this VAP law has been investigated in Kuala State, and we are going to charge them right. on those laws. So there are so many cases. Okay. Are, I mean, so many charges we are going to. To from, put on them. from the video, we observed one policeman opening up the bowls. Well, I think did they find um, drugs or something? Because I was I was assuming that they were trying to see if there were other substances that were there. Did they find any type of substances? And actually, as of now, we have not gotten any substances. Okay. As of okay. now, we we searched and there was no substances for now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, um, SP Ajayi, for joining us this morning. We wanted to just get an update on this. Be sure that those young men. Were prosecuted for this. The girl, the girl, you said she's with you. She, she willing to talk to us? Uh, she could. Uh, she could talk with you. She's with me. Okay. Let me let me have a word with her. Okay. Talk yes. to you. Hello, you madam. Hello, madam. Are you there? Yes. Ma Thank you for uh, accepting to speak with us. I just wanted to. Um, do you feel? Are you, are you satisfied by the arrest and conviction so, I mean, not conviction, the arrest so far made by the police and the fact that you feel safer? Because I, I get worried when these things happen because what, what happens afterwards? You, you know, young girls that go through this wonder what would happen to them afterwards after the case is, 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 is concluded. What are your thoughts so far since the since investigation started? Yeah. No, I'm not. Okay, but I just want to rest. There's nothing I can do. I even if they were in jail, anything, that what they did to me cannot go back. They have treated it already. Are you, so, are you cool with the investigation the police is doing now? Yes, I'm cool with it. Okay. But Leo, how supportive are your family members? Hope they are supporting you. Hello, ma. I said, God, how supportive are the family members? I was asking the young lady. The family, yes, she has, she has the family. They are, they are all around. Okay. All right, no problem. Let me, we'll, we'll leave it at that uh, right now. But thank you so much, SP Ajayi Okasume, for giving us an update on this investigation. We're really happy that yeah. these boys would um, definitely be prosecuted for what they did to that young girl. All right. I want to say hi to Sita in the if it's possible. Uh, she's not on set today, but she's definitely watching. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right thank sir. You. Thank you so much. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view.